Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 journal meaning. So what is the meaning of Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 journals? Now to understand this particular thing, you need to understand some important concepts in journals, uh, some important definitions. First of all, to understand what is this rating for journals from Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4, you should know what is the meaning of citation. That background knowledge is very crucial for everyone. Now, for example, if we look into uh, what is citation, to cite means to note or refer to anything. For example, you write one research, pa research paper and you take uh, a, a citation from another research paper, some quote, text or book you want to refer somebody's text in your research paper that is called citation and you will refer how you refer it I have found this particular text in such and such book written by Mr. and Mrs. so this is how you uh, cite in your research paper about somebody's um, uh, research or somebody's text that is called citation so in a particular journal there are number of research papers and you go and search the relevant research paper that is related to your research and you try to cite from that particular research paper which means that journal has received one citation from you so that is called citation now why citation decides uh, uh, the rating of journal from q1 q2 q3 and q4 q1 being the best q2 being the secondary best third Q3 is the third position and Q4 is the least. So that is how the quality of the journal is decided with the citation. But it's not all about citation. Uh, it is about also an impact factor. That is one concept you should know again. Uh, I have my video what is impact factor. If you can watch from my videos you can do it. But otherwise here I will be telling you what is an impact factor. in. So when you look here this particular calculation now in 2017 let us take the journal impact factor is 2.229 how this is derived this is derived by dividing something here how now you can see here citations in 2017 now for example in 2015 there are 109 research papers published in that particular journal in 2016 there are 105 research papers published so total research papers published in the last two years is 214 research papers got published in a particular journal now among these research papers from these two years among these 214 research papers in 2015 there are 46 citations from 109 research papers in 2016 there are 50 citations from 105 research papers total in these two years the journal received 96 citations so you know already now what is a citation is so you have to divide by the period of time and the number of papers divided by the number of citations received in that particular period of time so that is how you get the impact factor that is 2.229 so impact factor is calculated this way now the more the impact factor the more it receives q1 or q2 q3 or q4 so these are nothing but top list now top 25 percent of all the journals in that particular category of subjects or subject category is q1 some 20 first to 25 percent of journals will be put in q1 list that is the, all those 25 percent journals received a uh, high number of citations and with good impact factor so ultimately it is impact factor 
we have to talk about only impact factor now because impact factor is linked with citations so forget about citations as long as we have made these calculations everything is in this so finally what we have to do is q1 q2 q3 q4 is decided by a journal's impact factor and where it should fall the first 25 percent of journals according to the impact factor are under q1 the other 25 percent that is 25 to 50 percent will be falling under q2 50 to 75 percent will be falling under q3 75 to 100 percent journals they are falling into q4 so 25 25 25 25 these are the four sets of categories let me explain to you clearly with this now who ranks this so this is all ranked given by the journal citation report this is one website which collects all the data published by thomson reuters and uh, it decides yearly rankings of science and social science journals according to the subject categories so this is the one you can type the website you can just go there general journal citation report you get it and quartile rankings are therefore de derived for each journal in each of its subject categories according to which quartile of the impact factor distribution the journal occupies for that subject category so here you can see q1 denotes the top 25 percent of the impact factor distribution just i have said this one q2 for middle high position between top 50 percent and top 25 percent q3 middle low position top 75 percent to top 50 percent so and q for the lowest position bottom 25 percent of the impact factor distribution so now having seen all this now what is the relevance what is uh, the meaning of q1 q2 q3 and q4 for a researcher to publish there is the meaning everything is quality so if you want your paper to be cited later by others you have to publish in q1 journals that way your paper gets uh, cited more and your paper gets quality and that is why impact factor and uh, is very important while you are publishing in a journal where impact factor is high automatically that particular journal is either in the q1 or q2 status so you will get more citations and your research paper will become popular so that is the only final output so if your research paper is published in q1 why we don't publish in q1 so easily because uh, the impact factor is so high journals are very strict editors are very strict in processing research papers because they don't want to lose quality for crap papers so what they do so they reject many of the papers only with high quality they allow to publish in their journals so that their impact factor is high with a lot number of citations and they are always in that q1 top 25 percent list so that way they are there high ranks so in the same way if you so it takes more time also when you want to publish with them it may take around one year or sometimes two years to publish in q1 journals so but whereas q2 your publication time from the time you communicate your paper to the journal to the time you publish it may take around six to eight months for q2 journals for q3 journals it may take around four to six months for q4 journals it may take around three to four months to publish so time also changes uh, with the way your paper is communicated and published so this is all about the meaning of q1 q2 q3 and q4 journal meaning i hope i have given my best uh, to uh, get you what is this q1 q2 q3 and q4 uh, let me show you by some uh, walk through how to choose uh, once it is opened you go to sources so in the sources when you scroll down you have here first quartile second third fourth you can just filter out here so uh, before filtering out you can just select your subject area now here subject area there are all the subject categories here for example you belong to business management and accounting so you click over that apply 
so then you choose which quartile journal there are 2048 journals in such a biz subject business you have all the subjects here don't worry your subject is somewhere here scroll down you have all the subjects so once you uh, choose the subject you come here and decide which journal you want you want quality journal choose first quartile apply so among these journal list that we have seen previously everything got filtered and now we have 546 journals so you can pub communicate your research paper to these journals it's as simple as that so you can go here you can display some hundred all together so again here see the relevance whether your research paper is accepted by this particular journal or not or this journal even though they are in q1 status uh, sometimes uh, your research paper should be relevant to them so you have to just email when you click on that journal you will get the home page link here go to the home page link and uh, you have to contact editors over there but here oops so the page doesn't exist most of the time it happens because Scopus doesn't give right uh, links but anyhow we have got there itself to go through this is the website so from here somewhere you will have to contact editor okay from the contact contact us then you can just write an email to them I have written a research paper under the title this and this will you be able to accept my research paper I would like to communicate with you so if you want you can also ask the duration of the paper and all so that uh, so from Scopus you do every communication instead of visiting websites directly outside because some cloned websites will be there so be very careful so this is all about q1 q2 q3 and q4 journals thank you so much if this video is useful don't forget to share again